Hi friends, I am Anuradha and I welcome you to the third part of our Locust learning series. And in the first two parts, we have learned to set Locust on Windows and setting up environment for creation of Locust script. And in this third part, what we will be learning is creation of our first script itself. Right? So ready? And what other elements we will be learning as part of our first script? These are creation of Locust instance, creation of task set, and then we'll be talking about creating tasks as list and as dictionaries. We'll be talking about weightage and then we'll also be talking about a task decorative function. And then we'll be finally ending up with minimum weight and maximum weight and we'll be ready with our first script. So I'm sure you are all set to go with creation of first script. Walk with me. So I am on the project which we created in our second uh, lecture of Locust Learning series and uh, let's go to virtual environment and let, uh, let's create a directory and um, let's give it a name. I give Locust status code test and though it is not required to have a directory or package over here but what I want is uh, organized for structure in my project so I am creating Locust directory. I'll create a Python file over here. Now why Python file um, when I am creating Locust file? Yes, because Locust is a normal Python file and how do we differentiate it from other normal files uh, though it is a normal file and how do we say that it is a Locust file? Let's see in few minutes. So let's just create a file and let's just give it an any name. First Locust I give a name. And so this is blank and in few minutes we are going to fill it up and uh, so let's quickly add two classes over here the one is user and the other is user behavior so you can name these two classes anything but um, I'm naming them based on the purpose which they will be achieving so there are two classes user and user behavior in this first locus.py and what are these user and user behavior are supposed to do is that this class user is supposed to uh, hatch user okay and this use uh, the other class user behavior is supposed to define actions which the hatched user would be performing now to give it give these classes more meaning let's inherit them from class locust and another class named task set now what are these classes these are the two classes which are defined in locust module all right so if we uh, have a quick lo look on our locus module here and if I open the score.py okay and I search for class locust okay so what does this define class locust inside core.py of locus module defines that it represents a user which is to be hashed and attack the system that is to be load tested and the other thing it says is the behavior of this user is defined by task set attribute. So this class locust has certain attributes and properties and methods, right? And when we are inheriting this class locust in our uh, class user, that means we'll be able to use these attributes and properties, right? Similarly, if we go to class task set which is also residing in this uh, python uh, core.py file what does it say it says class defining a set of tasks that a user will execute all right uh, let's go back to class locust again and we particularly note this task set attribute so what we need to have in task set attribute for our 
user to to perform some some action is that we need to have this attribute in our class locust okay so task underscore set is equal to it should point to user behavior which will have tasks which user will be doing now now how this python file would know that we have this uh, know more about this what is this locus file and what is this task uh, task set file right so for that purpose we need to import from locus module these files locust and task set now let's define two dummy methods first define let's say login okay and say i'm passing an argument l and let's just uh, do something here for the sake of simplicity print i am logged in and similarly let's define one more method which is log out and it is passing one more argument another argument log it log out m and let's say log i'm logged out okay now to define them as tasks within user behavior class which is inheriting task set class what we have to do we have to call attribute tasks okay and this task can be defined either as a list of uh, these methods which are are uh, which are the methods which we have defined and which we intend to take as task or we can define them as dic dictionary okay so to define them as list what we have to do we have to pass it log out and by default they are taking only they are supposed to take only one argument which is the instance of the task set class which is executing them okay to um, to execute this all we have to do locust minus f and the name of file right um okay so uh, let's run a web monitor and see what happens so i will open a web monitor on localhost 889 and i'll just run one user with the hash rate 1 and it it starts executing of course we are not making any request over here so there is no statistics as of now and what we see on our terminal is that the user is executing two tasks logged in and logged out okay and what is actually happening over here is this user which is instantiating is calling task set which is pointing to user behavior and this user behavior is create uh, is calling list of tasks logging and log out and um, when user starts executing it picks either of the task and executes it once it is finished it picks another task and uh completes that task and so on right and so i also mentioned instead of defining this task attribute as list of tasks we can also define as a dictionary so why do we need it as dictionary we need it as dictionary so let's see for what purpose so let's first define this as dictionary and uh, before that i would like to change the name of tasks because these are not appropriate tasks for the purpose of dictionary so i'll just casually name them as my task 1 and my task 2 okay and what i'll do i'll call these my task 1 colon 1 comma my task 2 colon so what we are doing we define a calling a callable function over here um, which is a key and 
the value is 1 and here the value is 2 you can give it as 3 also so what is this int signifying this is signifying weightage okay so what is this weightage let's run the test and see what is this weightage all about so I'll go to web monitor now okay I'll give the run and again let's go back to terminal Oh, I have not changed the message yet. The number of times this logged in is executing is far less than this logout. And this number of times is defined by something called weightage, which we have provided in this int. So what we have seen, if the task attribute is specified as list, so each time a task is performed, it will be randomly chosen from the task's attribute. Otherwise, if we are defining it as dictionary with keys and int as value, where it's int is a weightage, the task will be executed again randomly. But what would be the ratio is of execution is the one which we are providing through weightage. So here, the ratio of execution would likely to be 1 is to 3. That is this task 2 is likely to be executed three times more than this my task one so far we have seen the two methods where the way in which we can pass the tasks to user behavior which is task which is our instance of task set class and uh, we have seen it is we can pass it as list and we can pass it as dictionary but Locust also provides us a very convenient way to define task without defining them outside the uh, outside task set class um, and this is done with the help of at the rate task decorator okay for that let's go back to our code.py and let's look for at at task okay so if you go to this task okay so this is basically a task method which is providing us decorator function at task and what uh, what this task decorator is doing let's see first let's just put it inside okay so first we will import it import this task method and what we will do we will just copy this from here and I'll just paste it here and what I'll do I'll just remove this task attribute and I'll just put this as at task and also here at task all good so what this is basically doing this at task decorator when we are giving this at task it is indicating the next thing which will be there is the task which is to be executed and how do we provide the weightage here in that case and that is also very convenient by providing int over here say one and say two okay so this is basically the very convenient mechanism provided by locust itself to define task so let's run this script and see if the results are similar let me go to web monitor let me go back to terminal and as you can see yes it is executing in the similar manner and we have been provided by locust with this at task decorator to provide us a convenient mechanism to define our tasks. So let's also talk about the last two uh, important elements of our first script, look first locus script, and this is min underscore weight and max underscore weight. And let's see, and let's go to core.py to see what these do. Let's type min underscore 
weight so this is an attribute which is defined in locus class and its default value is 1000 which is one second 1000 millisecond one second and max under score weight so it says it is minimum waiting time between the execution of locus time uh, task and max, max weight is the maximum waiting time between the execution of locus task so what does that mean so let's put them here where we will be putting it in user class min weight is equal to say 5000 which is 5 second and max weight equal to say 15000 which is 15 second okay so what does it mean so what does this mean this means that a simulated user will wait between executing each task for the time which lies between randomly for the time which lies between minimum weight and maximum weight so while the user is executing each task it will take a gap of time which can vary between 5 to 15 second within each execution all right so this is minimum weight and maximum weight so that was all about this lecture i hope you enjoyed creating your first script in locust and if you really like it do mark it as liked and stay tuned and do subscribe to our channel for our next lecture in this series which will talk about uh, creating a script on http request using locust and do not forget to visit our website qamilestone.com which has a lot more posts about your favorite tools.